guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah, I'm 23 years old, and I focus on health and wellness. So I would say the biggest focus right now, at least, is my weight loss journey. And I've tr been trying to update you guys, but I realized I kind of haven't, like I might have missed a week or two, something like that. Like I was caught up doing the other vlogs and editing and stuff like that. So I try to update you guys after I've completed a week. So I started this journey at the end of June-ish, like around there. And so now it's been about a month in and I would say since the last time I've given you an update, I've lost another three pounds. I know, I'm really happy about that. I can see already some changes like in my face or like I, it's like my morning routine, I'll wash my face and when I do that, I could see like when I smile or in the mirror that it doesn't look as puffy or as inflamed. And so I feel like I might have lost a little bit there. And then my legs, because I've been using the stationary bike. And I try to do it every other day. Some days if I miss, I'll do back to back. And it could range from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. So depending on how much my legs can endure, that'll be like how long I'm on the bike. But I could see like a little bit definition in my legs. So the one thing I really want to do are focus exercise on my arms. Now, if you watch my first video, which is like where I start talking about this, it's like an introductory video. Basically, I show you a picture of when I wasn't even my heaviest, but it was this photo I was wearing a dress on my uncle's wedding, and my arms looked huge. Like I turned around and my cousin took a photo with like his fancy like Nikon or Canon camera, and it was like one of those big ones with the zoom and everything. It was such good quality that I swear you could see like <laughs> the little like cellulites in my arm. So that photo went onto like this Google Drive that all my cousins ended up receiving and I was mortified. It was like the most unflattering photo I've ever seen. And then like now all my family like all over the world can see, especially the people that couldn't even go to the wedding, they definitely saw that photo. And so, uh, a little story time too. So we had a family reunion in Turkey and that was just because some of my family is, lives in Iran and if you didn't know, I'm Persian. But anyway, so we did Turkey because it was easy for some of my family to travel. But I live in the States and a lot of my family lives in the States too so it was kind of hard getting there. But anyway, so we had this big family reunion in Bodrum, Turkey. And it was really nice but some of my cousins or like my great aunts and uncles, they haven't seen me since I was a child. And up until the age of 17, 18, I was always in shape. Like I was always playing a sport or I was just eating food at home. Like, so I wasn't getting like takeout or fast food. And so I think a lot of them were shocked. I mean, I was really self-conscious. I was definitely the fattest family member. And mind you, I have some like, the oldest person there I think was in his 90s. So that's like saying something. Uh, my great grandma, she's really like health conscious and so she was always in shape. And that's my grandpa's mother. And he is also like really preoccupied by staying fit and making sure that you're not fat. And I feel like a lot of people use fat as a derogatory term, but like I've come to acceptance that currently I am fat and like there's no excuse. Like it's not a bad word and it's not gonna offend me. It's like a truth, it's a fact. But yeah, I don't really want to, that label to be labeled to me. And on that trip, my great grandfather, he, who hasn't seen me since I was eight years old, asked my mom, like, what's with Sarah? Like, is everything okay, like, health-wise? Like, why is she this big, this huge? And I know he didn't mean, he didn't mean anything by it, but he was just concerned. And honestly, like, I would be too. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm just not at a normal healthy weight. And I feel like there's a little bit where you can be, like, pudgy or, I don't know, like a, little bit chubby, but like, I took chunky to a whole new level. So um, yeah, I just remember, like I don't wanna be in a place where I'm self-conscious 
I don't want to be in a place where I'm self-conscious and I'm worrying about my weight and not feeling good about myself, especially in the summertime because I love going to the beach, I love spending time in the ocean or swimming, so I don't want to feel like I have to look different or feel this pressure that I have to edit my photos to the max because oh my arms look big or my thighs look big. Like, I just want to be able to post natural photos confidently and not worry or think twice like ooh I didn't edit this photo do I look bad in it or reminisce on old photos where I do look better because like I've said previously in the past couple years of fluctuating weight it's kind of like yo-yoing and that's basically when you gain a lot of weight you lose a lot of weight and you go back and forth so there have been times that I've been kind of where I'm, like my goal weight and I have a bunch of photos and I'll look through it and I'm like wow like a lot has changed but not really it's just the weight I feel like I've grown a lot as a person so I don't see why you know that should be a problem moving forward that like I feel like I can tackle this another thing is I've been like preoccupied on like finding someone and like I don't know seen I feel like my Instagram or TikToks have been curated for couples and like love and all this stuff and I don't know if it's because like I've been mentioning it with my friends and family and like it's picked up those things but I feel like it's crazy because I feel that loneliness a little bit and then I'm like daydreaming but like I've literally I talked to a friend and I was talking with my mom and like I realized that I have to work on myself and focus on myself and if you're not in a good place like why do you think you can attract someone that would want you when you're not at your best now I know there's that thing like you can't have me at my Britney Spears in 2000 what 7 2009 if you want like if you can't handle that you can't be my, my Beyonce stage or whatever but I feel like that's a little bull, like honestly, I don't want someone who's like before their glow up, like yes, it would, of course, like if my soulmate's out there and he's a work in progress, of course, but I'm saying like I would want someone at their best and that's just because I would want us to be our best together. So I realized like not to be focusing on that and not to be manifesting that. So I'm shifting that. Now, so I started reading this book, Secret Soulmate, and then I talked to my friend and she was just like, Sarah, no. So now I'm like gonna finish the book because like I'm the type that finishes books, but I'm moving on to this book called A Little Bit of Love, I think it's called, or All of Us Need Love or All That Love. I don't know, I can't remember it. Like I just started it yesterday. I'll like put the little picture up here, but anyways, and so yeah, so I'm reading that. I'm gonna continue working out and eating better. I still intermittent fast. These past couple days I haven't calorie counting, but I know I haven't been like eating a lot, so I know I've been under my limit, which is good. But I just wanted to update you. I really wanted to do a fun video, and I was supposed to be filming that today, but the weather just isn't cooperating, and uh, surprise, it wasn't gonna be in the house. But anyways, I just finished working out, hence this top. But I do feel like I wear a lot of purple in these videos. I do like the color purple, but yeah. Anyway, just wanted to update you on these past, I don't know, updates that I may have not, like I missed. I don't know, I was like doing the math and it didn't make sense. But anyways, thank you for watching and being a part of this madness of my life and hearing me rant and stuff. And slowly but surely we're walking to the finish line. It, of course, will take time, but we're getting there and that's all that counts. Okay guys, thanks again for watching and supporting me and this YouTube channel. Bye.